welcome to Netro. Today we will talk about the top 10 DDoS attacks in the world. First, GitHub 2018. On February 28, 2018, GitHub, a popular online code management service used by millions of developers, was hit with the largest ever DDoS attack. The platform was used to high levels of traffic, but what it wasn't prepared for was the massive influx of traffic which peaked at a record breaking 1.3 terabits per second. The GitHub attack did not involve botnets but instead used a method known as memcaching, a database caching system used to speed up websites and networks. The attackers were able to spoof GitHub's IP address and then massively amplify the traffic levels being directed at the platform. Luckily, GitHub was using a DDoS protection service, and within 10 minutes of the attack being triggered, the company was able to contain and stop the attack from continuing. Second, Dyn, 2016, the second largest DDoS attack was directed at Dyn, a major DNS provider, in October 2016. The attack was hugely disruptive and brought down the websites of over 80 of its customers including Amazon, Netflix, Airbnb, Spotify, Twitter, PayPal and Reddit. Using a malware called Mirai, hackers created a massive botnet of 100,000 Internet of Things IoT, devices to launch their attack. The devices included radios, smart TVs, printers and they were all programmed to send requests to Dyn and overwhelm it with traffic. Damage from the attack is reputed to have cost $110 million and despite the attack being contained within one day, in the immediate aftermath of the attack over 14,500 domains dropped Dyn services. Third, Hong Kong, 2014. In 2014, a massive DDoS attack targeted Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement, Occupy Central. Hackers sent huge volumes of traffic to three of Occupy Central's web hosting services, including two independent news sites known as PopVote and Apple Daily. Using five botnets, the hackers bombarded the servers with packets of junk disguised as legitimate traffic. At its peak, the traffic reached over 500 gigabits per second, bringing both websites to a grinding halt. The attack was also used to break into the databases which resulted in pop vote employees being bombarded with phishing emails. Fourth, unnamed Cloudflare client, 2014. In 2014, a client of DDoS protection firm Cloudflare was hit by a huge DDoS attack that bombarded them with over 400 gigabits of traffic per second. The attack targeted servers in Europe and exploited the network time protocol NTP, normally used to sync clocks on machines, to slow response times. NTP amplification attacks are extremely difficult to block as the responses are legitimate data that appear to come from valid servers. The attack lasted several days and was so powerful that even though it was aimed at one of Cloudflare's clients, it ended up affecting Cloudflare's own network. 5th, BBC, 2015, on New Year's Eve, 2015, the BBC became the victim of a sustained DDoS attack by the anti-Islamic state, his group, New World Hacking. The attack brought down the BBC News website along with its iPlayer service for over three hours. Despite resuming service, the entire domain experienced significant disruption for the rest of the day. The attack used two Amazon Web Services AWS, servers to harness unlimited bandwidth, and the hackers claimed they attacked at a rate of 600 gigabits per second, although this has since been disputed.